Ambition is the one thing that drives top tier game developers and this generation has showcased that at all levels. Sure, not every ambitious game lives up to their enormous expectations, but the fact that devs are willing to push the boundary of game development is respectable in its own right. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 most ambitious games coming in 2017 and beyond. Let's get right into this. Number 10, Pray for the Gods. Pray for the Gods is an indie action adventure survival game developed by No Matter Studios. Looking at Pray for the Gods, you immediately recognize its technical achievements, but what's even better is its resemblance to games like Shadow of the Colossus, which you can see Pray for the Gods drawing inspiration from. It's got mechanics of survival games too, such as hunger, stamina, etc. The main element of the game is fighting giants on the island and defeating them. Pray for the Gods does not have an exact release date, but it is expected to come to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Number 9, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Ubisoft and Ambition go hand in hand. Sure, at times they don't make the best games ever, and when they do make something great, they'll milk it to no death. But I digress, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands is a very ambitious game coming from Ubisoft Paris. It's an open world cooperative tactical shooter with a variety of different environments such as mountains, forests, deserts, all for the player to explore. The co-op is the big focus of Ghost Recon Wildlands, so I wouldn't go into it solo, although you can. The game's release is right around the corner, set to come on March 7th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. ...spotting and tagging cartel goons and getting a feel for their hideouts. While small and difficult for cartel soldiers to spot, the drones aren't invisible, and getting too close carried the risk of alerting the camp and giving our target a chance to escape. The Bolivia of Ghost Recon Wildlands is not a heavily militarized country, and civilians are everywhere. The cartel thugs love to mix in with the local population, which introduces an element of uncertainty into nearly every firefight. The ghosts are in Bolivia to liberate civilians, so we had to be sure of our targets before pulling the trigger. That said, we did accidentally kill one chicken that was standing behind the guy we sniped. Vehicles are everywhere in Ghost Recon Wildlands, and they're all years for the taking. And while it's fun to tear off by yourself on a dirt bike, larger transports are a great way to take advantage of co-op as one player can take the wheel while everyone else leans out the windows to turn cars into light assault vehicles. This is a lot of fun on the road, but even better in the skies, where squad mates can man the machine guns on choppers to light up any- Number 8, Scalebound. Platinum Games have become one of the most prominent studios in the gaming industry. They've worked on titles such as Bayonetta, Metal Gear Rising, and Vanquish, some great action games. Scalebound is an action RPG, and the one thing you'll notice immediately about the game is its visuals. They are very good. Now, it should be mentioned from the demos we've seen thus far, the frame rate is a bit all over the place, but those are just early builds. Hopefully, that's worked out before the game's launch. Also, with the game now being confirmed for Windows 10 alongside Xbox One, hopefully it's a good port and runs at a solid 60 FPS on PC. The game releases sometime in 2017. The shell is opening up! Hit the pink and out the thing! Watch the tails! Ah! 
Number 7, Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts is one of the most beloved franchises in all of gaming. Fans of the series have wanted a third entry for a decade, and while it was nice to get the spin-off games and Dream Drop Distance, which in all fairness did progress the story, it's about time we see Kingdom Hearts 3. The footage we've seen thus far sets a very impressive tone for the game. Visually, it looks outstanding, and now running on the Unreal Engine 4, there's a lot of potential here. Information about the game has been trickling in very slowly. We should hear more after FF15 officially releases. Maybe a 20 2017 release is pushing it a bit, but hopefully by 2018, Kingdom Hearts 3 will finally hit the market. Number 6, Horizon Zero Dawn. Guerrilla Games have thrived on creating very technically impressive games. Just look at the Killzone franchise. For the time those games were released running on consoles, they looked outstanding. Now they've moved on from Killzone for the time being and are focusing on a new IP, Horizon Zero Dawn. A post-apocalyptic action RPG set in a lush and vibrant world dominated by mech-like dinosaurs. Every element of Horizon Zero Dawn is so unique from the diverse gameplay to the creative setting. It's original to say the least. It should be mentioned that this is a game that will really take advantage of the PlayStation 4 Pro, so if you're on the older console, it'll probably be a lesser experience. Regardless, we'll find out on February 28th when Horizon Zero Dawn releases exclusively to the PS4. Number 5, Death Stranding. If you asked a group of avid gamers who they associated the word ambitious with in the world of game development, many of them would say Hideo Kojima. And who's to blame them? He arguably revolutionized gaming with the Metal Gear franchise, and now after all of the drama with Konami, he's moved on from that to work on Death Stranding, a game that exact information on is still sparse. We do know that it's an open world action game starring Norman Reedus as the main character. We also know that this will be a game that supports 4K and HDR, presumably on the PS4 Pro. Even with that little information, you can tell Death Stranding has potential to be something special. The rumor is a 2018 release, but that hasn't been confirmed. We do know it'll be exclusive to the PS4 with a PC release being possible in the future. Number 4, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Ever since that 2005 tech demo of Final Fantasy VII running on the PlayStation 3, gamers have clamored for one of the most iconic games of all time in FF7 to receive a full remake. For the longest time, Square Enix was against the idea, and when you think about it, how could you blame them. Final Fantasy VII was a massive game, and the thought of recreating it with modern tech seems to be a daunting task to say the least. Well, that's a task that Square is taking on now with the FF7 remake. The footage we've seen thus far has looked outstanding, and while exact specifics of the game are still shrouded in mystery, the game being episodic being one of the main things, it goes without saying that this has potential to be one of the biggest games this generation. It'll be exclusive to the PS4 at first, chances are it will hit other platforms after the initial release. When will that release be? Probably not for a while, but if it is episodic, that might mean we could see it earlier than most anticipate. You're doing this for the planet, same as us. Not interested. 
Number 3, Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption is widely considered one of the best games of last generation, and rightfully so. That game just nailed it in nearly every area. Visually spectacular, an engaging story with a fantastic main character, a big and lively open world to explore, and who could forget the online play? Now, seven years later, we're finally getting the sequel, Red Dead Redemption 2. We know that the game will follow a similar open world western design, and it'll feature a multiplayer mode again. Outside of that, we don't know much more. But considering that Rockstar is expecting the game to sell 12 million copies, they're probably whipping up something exceptional. It releases Fall 2017 on PS4 and Xbox One. Sorry, PC players, no official release on that yet. Number 2, Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 has been one of the most mysterious games in recent memory. The game was announced nearly four years ago, but outside of a cinematic trailer, we haven't seen anything else about the game. However, developers CD Projekt Red, the guys behind the phenomenal Witcher franchise, have kept us in the loop about the game. The game is set in a dark future in 2017, where advanced technologies have become both the salvation and the curse of humanity. CD Projekt Red has also stated that Cyberpunk 2077 will be even bigger than The Witcher 3, and that says it all to those that played Witcher 3. Right now, there is a bit of turmoil going on with CD Projekt Red. Hopefully, that's sorted out and we see footage of Cyberpunk 2077 sooner rather than later. Finally, number one, Star Citizen. When you talk about ambitious games, it's impossible not to mention Star Citizen, a game where its hype has been built upon raising the bar for video games. It's described as a space sim, but it's so much more than that, and it encompasses many different video game genres. It's a first-person shooter, an exploration game, immersion-driven, all in a massively persistent universe. It's staggering in what this game is trying to accomplish, but that's what you'd expect with a game that's gotten as much funding as Star Citizen has. At this point, it is starting to become a little frustrating waiting for the game to officially release, but hopefully we see it out in the next year. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 most ambitious games coming in 2017 and beyond. What do you think? Which of these ambitious games are you the most excited for? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.